everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock tunes on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video, we're going back to the mid-70s and a classic rocker from a band called Bad Company. This song is called Feel Like Making Love. That's right, and it's a fun song to play on your mandolin. Um, in fact, live, I've seen this band play live with a mandolin doing that beginning part. Even though it was originally played on a guitar, I believe, a 12-string guitar on the recording, when they play live these days, Bad Company is doing it with a mandolin at the beginning. So that's really cool, and it's a fun little opening lick. And the rest of the song is fairly basic for you to play through, all right? So we'll get to that lesson in a few minutes, but first, a little bit of business here, if you don't mind. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that, that subscriber button down there, that lower right corner red button, please, if you could. That helps us to continue to grow this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back. We really appreciate your support, but there are many other ways you can support us down below. Check it out down below. You can see the link for our new RPM merch. That's right, you can get a nice t-shirt like this down there down below and uh, not too expensive either you can order one for yourselves or the people that you know also down below there's a link to my rpm rock and pop mandolin lessons that's a series of video lessons aimed at beginners and intermediate players for $29.99 it's still the same price $29.99 you can get a series of lessons download them and keep them forever and you will go from beginner to at least intermediate player maybe beyond with those lessons. Also down below, there's a link to my Patreon page for RPM. You can get many things over there, lesson videos and tabs for mandolin songs. Many of you guys have been asking me for tabs for mandolin songs. Well, I've done them and I'm doing them continuously over there on my Patreon page. Sign up for as little as $5. You can get it, gain access to dozens and dozens of mandolin tabs, many for rock and pop songs that you won't find anywhere else on the net. So check it out. That's over there. Also down below, you can find links to my affiliates like Amazon and Sweetwater, where you can pick up products like mandolins and tuners and strings and many other things. Links are down below. And if you click on one of those links and buy a product, I get a small commission. You can always leave us a thank you down below as well. Anyway, that's enough annoying business for you. Let's get on with this lesson. Feel like making love by Bad Company for mandolin here on RPM. All right, Feel Like Making Love is in the key of D. It's a fun song to play, and here's the little intro. All right, so what is that? Well, I'm starting off with this double stop here, which is the fourth fret of the D string and the fifth fret of your A string. And what that is, is a D double stop. It's actually coming out of that D chord. You'll see that D chord later in this uh, video, but I'm just starting off right there with those two strings, all right? And you're just going, okay, so like that. So down up and a chuck and a, so there's a slight little chuck in the middle there, or a, I guess a, uh, a, a, a grace note, you might call it that. So like that. So I'll go slowly with that. And you can see here, I am muting a string. I'm muting this G string with my thumb over the edge. So you don't hear it uh, ring out for the beginning part of this song. It's just these two here, all right? So and I'm just hitting those top three strings. I'm not hitting that E string down there. Okay, so one more time slowly. You see that? So like that. Yeah, that's it. I got it clearer that time. And then you move that down to here. And I'm doing... All right, I'm changing my finger pattern there for that chord. That's just your basic C chord now, all right? So you're here at the second fret of your D string, third fret of the A. So going down from the D, and it's the same strumming pattern, right? Just like I did on that D lick. Right? Like that, okay? And the reason I'm, I'm changing fingering there is because I'm gonna now move down to a G chord, just from that C down to the G, all right? So now I move to second fret of the A, third fret of the E, okay? So one more time, and actually you could, you could do it like this as well. You could do it with these fingers. I prefer, I think it's a little easier for me to do it with the second finger and third finger there, and then first finger, second finger there and there. 
Okay, so let's try it again. The D lick, D double stop. Okay, so when he goes to the G, he just hits the hit it hits it once. Then he does that little that little lick there over it. Okay, so one more time. Okay, so that's just once on the G, and then you're you're hammering on from that second fret to the third fret of your A. And then back to the G. Like that if you can. So like that. So so you're trying to pull that finger back as fast as you can, that second finger to finish off that lick. Okay, so one more time. And then a little and then back into it again. Now something different. Like that, okay? All right, one more time. Okay, so after the, you hit that two, one down and up, then you're doing the lick again. Now you're going, so instead of going to the G, you're going to the D chord like that. Okay, and my inner D chord is just 2nd fret here on the G string and 2nd fret of the E. By the way, I make the D chord like this usually. It's a bit unusual. Most mandolin players will use the 1st finger and this 2nd finger like that. I've always kind of done it like this for some reason. I don't know why, but that's the first way that I learned this chord. And it works for me if I want to pull in, you know, some other things. But many players will just do it like that as well. Let's do that opening lick one more time. and you end up on that D chord like that. All right, so after that opening lick, now you're into the verses, you're in D, all right? So the verses are very simple. It's just D to G, right? All the way through the verses. So it goes. Okay, and I'm adding something. I'm embellishing these chords a little bit. You don't have to. You can just strum right through that D chord to a G chord if you want. But I like to add that little embellishment here, which is so. So I'm just I'm just doing a little hammer on on the G string, open G to that second fret there on my D chord. So and same thing when I go to the G chord now. I'm. I'm doing a little open A string to the second fret of the A. Okay, again, a little hammer-on pickup kind of kind of lick. Okay, so it goes one more time. And my strumming pattern is so like that. Can you get that? One more time on the chord progression. And what I'm doing, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hammering that G string and I'm hitting that note there twice, the second fret, like that. And the second time is with the full chord. So watch closely, like that. And then same thing here. And that's a very common mandolin embellishment there. Adding that note on the D chord, adding that note on the G chord. You see it in many songs, and you can add it into many songs yourself too, just to kind of embellish what you're doing with the basic chords, because the chords are really basic in this song, right? So let's do it again. Right? And that just goes through the verses, right? It's up basic verses all the way through until you get to the chorus. All right, now the chorus is kind of the heavy part of the song. And, you know, on the original track, they're using heavy guitars with distortion and all that. And obviously we don't have that here at the mandolin, but you can still give it a bit of chunkiness uh, by playing a different voicing of that D chord. So instead of that D chord that I showed you here with his open strings, it's kind of what we call a cowboy D chord, right? Or an open string D chord. You want to go 
you want to get that really tight, snappy kind of aggressive sound here. So I'm doing a closed D chord now with closed strings, no open strings. Second fret of the G, fourth fret of the D, fifth fret of your A string, okay? And I'm just going just like that and then like that, okay? So the strumming pattern on that D chord is it's kind of got a bit of a pause in there. Can you hear that? Like, so you go, so down, up, down, down, up, down, right? And then, so on the original song, the guitar player just goes to C, G, and then back to D again. So like this. All right, he does that on the original. Now, I've, I've added a few little upstrokes and downstrokes to my version of it, just to give it, again, a little more embellishment here. So like this. You see, I added a few. So you do three on the D. One, two, three, and C, G, D. C, G, just once, C, G, D. And then this part plays through three times. All right, and then on the fourth time you go through, you go, making love to Right, they, they just stay, they go, making love to It just stays on those chords a little bit longer. So again, it's a C chord to a G chord and then to a D. All right, so one more time through that section. to your D chord again. All right, and now a hidden little bonus here on this video. I didn't play this off the top in my opening to this uh, video, but I'm gonna show you now a version of the guitar solo that you can do on the mandolin, all right? And it's played just over those two verse chords, the G or the D and the C. All right, so you can play a little solo like this. So what is that solo bit? Well, you start off here, right, on this fourth fret here of the D string, and all of these licks just come out of the D major pentatonic, all right? So you can go like this. So, so down to the two, second fret. So four, two, four, five. So start off up to the fifth fret, then up to two open on the A, and then four, two, open on the D. So one more time. Okay, so after you've done this, you can do, so what's that? Well, that's just a D major pentatonic run. So open, open two, four, open two, five, open five right and then i'm just gonna and then i'm just going five two five and then you want to catch that g note third fret now you're changing to a g chord and you can even bring in the g chord like that there so that's the third fret of your e string and then i'm going three two three seven five right then and then seven five two, five. So one more time. Right, like that. And then I do, you can do, you can do, you can do open two, five, open two, five, and end up on that fourth fret again, where you started the solo in the first place.
All right, that's it. That's Bad Companies Feel Like Making Love. Hope you enjoyed that video. It's a real fun one for you to play and very, very simple to play on the mandolin. Lots of fun to jam on that one with your friends. Thanks very much for tuning into this video once again, and thanks very much for supporting this channel, RPM. But don't forget to check out all those links down below where you can give us a little more support, and also you can get access to mandolin tabs, rock and pop mandolin tabs that, well, many are not available anywhere else on the internet, and you can find them at my Patreon page. Check it out. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Mike Dijon.